Hello, my name is Jessica. Welcome to my channel where I create beauty and art related content here on YouTube. If you like that sort of thing, plus extreme mediocrity, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting the bell so that you don't miss any time I upload. I love to interact with you guys down in the comments, so please leave some feedback for me and like or dislike this video depending on how you feel. Today, I am going to do a challenge that I mentioned in the title. I'm going to do exactly what I said I'm going to do. And I'm going to use every shade in one of my eyeshadow palettes. This challenge has been going around YouTube for a long time at this point. I don't even know how long. I tried to figure out the original creator, and I'm not entirely sure who it is, but it might be Bronte Jones. I'm going to link her in the description box down below. Um, that was who I could find when I searched up the original creator, and it sounded like she was maybe doing it for the first time, but I'm not 100% sure. But lots of people have done this challenge at this point. So, to use all the different shadows, I'm going to be using my NYX Sugar Trip Squad palette. I picked this one because it didn't have too many shades, and it also has a lot of fun shades. Looks like this on the inside. And I just want to create something fun and exciting. It has, it's almost primarily mattes. I would say of the 12 shades, like 11 of them are mattes, two of which are more like a, maybe they're like a satiny finish with some glitter in them, but they're not actual true shimmer shades. And then there's one true shimmer shade in the palette. All right, I'm gonna have a heart to heart with this palette and then We'll jump into a look. All right. Sugar Trip Squad palette and I, we've had a good little conversation and I feel mildly prepared to put a look together for you guys. So I've decided there's a good mix of like cool tones and warm tones. So I'm going to keep the cool tones on my upper lid. And then I'm going to put the warm tones on the lower lid and fade out into um, like a draped blush situation. So I'll do one eye on camera for you guys and kind of talk it through and then I'll do more off camera. I don't know why I need to explain some of this stuff. Goodness, you're just going to see it. Okay. I'm going to take these purple shades in my crease. I'm going to start with this warmer toned one. Yes, I am. This purple is going to go like on the inner portion of the crease and then this purple will go on the outer portion of the crease. Now I'm going to take this blue shade and put it all over the lid. Now in the very outer V, I'm going to take this kind of cool toned brown. Is it cool toned? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to take that brownish shade. That will do for now. I'm going to clean it up. Um, once I finish the upper lid. So, to do that, I'm gonna try and remember what I decided on. I'm going to take the green shade here and I'm going to pop that on the center of my lid. Hmm, I feel like this is looking kind of funky, but that's okay. 
I still have work to do. Um, before I move on, I'm going to deepen the purples in the crease again and blend those out a bit. I cleaned up the edges of my look with a little bit of micellar water on a cotton round and then I put on my foundation on like half of my face to be prepared to finish up this look. I'm going to start, actually, before I go to the lower lash line, I want to throw on this nude shade as like my brow bone highlight thing because I got to use all the shades. So. That's what I'm going to do. Done. Okay. Not done with the whole look. Just done with that little bit. Alrighty. Oh, I need to make sure I use this gold shade. This gold shade is giving me problems. I don't know what I want to do with it. But I can figure it out. So, I'm going to use... The burgundy shade along the outer portion of my lower lash line and connect it to that cool tone brown right then i'm going to go in with the brighter red right here on the middle portion of the lower lash line All right, feel good so far. I'm actually going to take that gold shade that I was complaining about a moment ago and put that on the last remaining portion of the lower lash line. just a few more steps. I'm going to put the bright pink shade here on the inner corner. All right, I have used the majority of the shades. The only thing I have left are this corally pink and this orange, which I am going to use as my blush. Okay, let's double check real quick and make sure that I used all the shades in the palette. I use this pink as the color my inner corner. I use this deep brown along the outer V. I use burgundy along the outer portion of the lower lash line. I use the gold on the inner portion of the lower lash line, red in the middle. And the purples are the first two I use in the crease. Um, peach is on the cheeks. Skin toned nude is on the brow bone. Orange is also on the cheeks. Blue is on the lid. Green is on the lid. All right. I can say that I've used them all. I'm going to do, I'm going to replicate this on the other side. And then I'll come back and finish up the entire look with you guys. Well, my friends, I done did it. The look is almost complete. I threw on a pair of lashes. I lined my waterline with this kind of like pinky purple shade. I got a few things from Shop Miss A recently. The lashes and this pencil being a couple of them. Um, yeah, that's it. Now I need to figure out my highlight, my brows, and my lips. For brows, I just want to keep it simple because that's, that's just like my deal with brows. I like natural fluffy looking brows for sure. And I got hairy brows, so that works for me. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my ColourPop 
clear, what's it called? Brow boss gel. Yeah. Fluff these thick babies up. One thing is that um, once this brow gel dries down, you don't want to like get your eyebrows or then it will start flaking and it'll look like you have like a bunch of dandruff in your eyebrows. And I pick up my eyebrows for some reason. I don't know. I just get like itches. Itches? I get itchy eyebrows frequently. So I like to scratch them. So I always have to remind myself not to do that when I have brow gel in. Okay, I'm happy with that. Highlight. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild, whatever, Blossom Glow. All right. I don't know if I want to do much with my lips. They look kind of pink. I have naturally pink lips. I think I might want to tone them down. I have this nude gloss from ColourPop in the shade Fantasia and it's kind of like a nudie gloss. So I'm going to put that on. I always think it um, tones down the pink in my lips and makes them a little more nude. So I'm just going to go with that. This is the final look, my dudes. Um, was I hoping that doing this challenge would instantly turn me into the most creative and inventive makeup artist to exist of all time? Absolutely. Did that happen? Definitely not. But I am still happy with what I came up with. I'm proud that I didn't just like throw stuff on and hope for the best. I think I came up with a cohesive look. And it was really fun. I love these kinds of challenge videos. So if you've ever done something like this, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I'll go check it out. Um, if you have other ideas for videos like this that are kinds of um, like eyeshadow challenges, I'd definitely give it a try. So let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.